Hi everyone. Uh, this is our project for um, CMU course 17637, uh, the web app development. And here I want to show you a little bit of our project. So our project is the sketchboard. You can tell from its name that um, it is a yeah, it is sketchboard. So it is like the Google Slides. Um, you can type and you can draw something and add pictures, videos here. And the most important thing is that it is worked uh, real time online. So it is good for the team members to do project, to have some plan. Uh, okay, so now let's show our project. So here is this homepage of you. And this is my username. And uh, um, if you want to have a new canvas, just click this plus icon or click the create. So I will name it as demo two. Yeah, very creative name. Okay, so this is a canvas. So uh, first, let me show you uh, this one. This basic function is to type the things you want. Let's type uh, hello. Uh, good morning. Right. And also you can change like the font, make it bold. Right. Make it italic, underline, um, align it, right. And undo and redo, right. Okay. And you can have multiple text box. And here you can upload some images. You can drop or click that. I don't have so many images, but um, let's see this one. Yeah. Yeah. I like this picture. Right. And you can also resize it to fit. Yeah. Like here. Right. Good. And then it can also let you upload some videos, but you need to have the URL. So, okay. So let's give it a URL. Uh, so this one, let's try. We copy this. Here, insert, right. Okay, so this is the YouTube video link. And this is the first function. And second one is this one, the sticky note. So the sticky note, you can pick a color here and it will give you a text box that with this background color. So this one, really help people to concentrate like concentrate right you can have a different color right like this blue one okay blue right and then the third function here is a scribble function so here I can draw the things I like. I like this color. And I can change the vase. Ooh. And I can use the eraser. And click eraser again to draw again. Right. And the next function I want to show you is this one. The save. So you click this one to tell you to save. So let's name it as uh, demo. Okay. So you can see here that this demo page shows your canvas here. Um, we didn't integrate the text box here, so uh, that is one place that we are going to improve. Okay. So the next thing I want to show is that this invite function. So here I will have another user. Um, login. So, okay. So, this is another user, is WZH, and this is a current user, WWQ. So, here I want to share this canvas to WZH. So, I click this one, invite, and then you type the email here. I will tell you my email and share it. Okay. So, then we go to this user. We will find that um, if you refresh now, yeah, a new demo appear. 
demo too. And also you can he see here that uh, I receive a message that uh, a new Canvas demo tool is shared with you on Sketchboard from WWQ. Okay, so um, here we can go into this demo. And right, so this one is loaded. So you can see that these canvases are the same. And the most magic thing here is that if you draw here, I'm draw on the right canvas, but on the left canvas, it show immediately. So this is the magic. And I can also, um, let's see, uh, clear all, and then the canvas is all clear, right? And then I can type here to see test on line real time. You can see that when I'm typing here, nothing is shown, right? And here, you cannot type here because at the same time, if another user is typing, this one, this text box is actually locked. So as soon as I click somewhere else, it means that this box is no longer be locked by other user. So this one, it is released. Okay, so same thing here. I type something and here I can do nothing, right? Because it is locked. And then release this box. Yeah, it is now lock no longer locked. And you can do whatever you like here. It shows on the left too. So, okay, so this is basically uh, the functions. And also uh, you can go to the home page. And then if you like this one, I really like this one, right? And I like, I like this demo. Actually, it is, uh, I record another video, but uh, that is not good as this one. So this time you click favorite and then it will show your favorite um, your favorite canvases and here the star sketchboard it's really lovely. I like that. And uh, if you unlike this one, yeah, not surprising. So it is gone from the favorite, but it's still in the here, right? Yeah. So also here you can add code sketcher that is the same as uh, you invite people from the canvas. I just so as I show you, and also uh, so you can see here that we have two um, user here. That's because uh, this the coworkers have a me and yeah another me, right? Uh, but I, they, these are two different users. And so after you add an, another user, it will have another co sketcher here. And if you don't like this one, let's see. Um, Let's delete this one, remove, and then this canvas is gone. And uh, because this one, the demo tool is shared by two users. So if you, so let's check. So here, so here we have demo tool, right? Refresh is here. And if I remove, It's done. Okay, uh, this demo too is not that one. Okay, so um, I don't want you to be confused. So yeah, no demo tool here. So here, after I refresh, demo tool is gone. So that means um, all the works that the users are on the same canvas is doing is shared by all the canvases. So um, here I can say a little of our uh, technologies. So we are using Django as the backend framework and using uh, JavaScript uh, as the front end and uh, some technologies um, include the WebSockets. Uh, actually, we are using Pusher.js Pusher to help people to do the uh, uh, WebSockets things. And Pusher is really good because um, when you deploy your instance on Amazon EC2, actually that's what we are doing. The EC2 management console shows here that 
you don't need to care about the WebSocket things because Pusher do all the things for you and it's really good. And the second one is this WYSI WYG editor. That means uh, what you see is what you get. And uh, so for this part, we try many editors and at last we chose the uh, Flora editor. Flora. Yeah, this one. Right. So you can see here the uh, Flora editor is real, it's really good. Uh, it has so many functions. And the thing you need to do is to learn how to use that and learn how to use um, WebSocket plus this um, editor to make a sketch board like us. And the thing is that when you use this one locally, it does not charge anything. But if you use to deploy on the internet, like we deploy on Amazon EC2, uh, it will charge. So um, you can see the pricing here. So uh, uh, this is not an advertisement, just want you guys know, because we don't know that before we deploy on cloud. So uh, we buy this one for our hobby and it's for one domain one year. Okay, so uh, the third thing is the p5.js. So p5.js is the JavaScript library and it allows you to draw things and to do some creative activities. So like um, these are all the functions of the p5.js, right? Right, uh, it takes a few seconds to upload, but it doesn't matter. So, right. So all these join things are from the p5.js. And uh, at last, we deploy our project on EC2. Um, and also, uh, Sunny used uh, Bootstrap um, to do a very, very attractive uh, front end. And we really appreciate that. And Ethan does the part of uh, the text box and the sticky notes. And I do the part of the scribble function. And so, um, yeah, this is a really good project. And thank you guys for watching this video.